bipedal locomotion is the exception in mammals, and the human leg is adapted to accommodate this unique style of locomotion. The thigh is composed of a single bone, the femur, the body's largest and heaviest bone, which at its proximal end has a round head, a neck, and regions for muscle attachment, the greater and lesser trochanters, the gluteal tuberosity where the enlarged gluteus maximus attaches, and the linea aspera for the adductor muscles. The distal end of the femur accommodates the knee joint with its two expanded condyles and the patellar surface for the patella. The uh, lower leg is composed of two bones, the large tibia, which articulates with the femur at the knee with its condyles and helps to compose the ankle with its supporting medial malleolus. And the narrow fibula uh, does not compose part of the knee uh, and has a head and composes the lateral malleolus. There are seven parcel bones in which the talus composes the ankle joint and the calcaneus uh, the heel bone uh, supports much of the body's weight and provides much of the arch of the foot. And then uh, in addition to it, uh, five other tarsal bones, the foot is composed of metatarsals and 14 phalanges with the big toe possessing two. Although these human leg bones are specially evolved to accommodate our bipedal locomotion, these bones are homologous to the bones found in quadrupedal uh, mammals. And so the typical mammalian leg is composed of a femur, a lower leg composed of a tibia and fibula, parcel elements, metatarsals, and phalanges in the foot. The earliest mammals possessed these homologous leg bones, as is evident in this primitive mammal, the platypus. And in the placental mammals, the leg bones share even more homology, as is evident in this cat. Not only does it possess the same bones as those found in the human leg, despite the fact that cats are quadrupedal and humans are bipedal, but many of the same regions of the bones, including muscle attachment sites, etc. One can observe homologous bones and homologous regions of bones in the leg of this mink, and in other mammals as well, such as this anteater. Humans are most closely related to other primates, and one can observe the homologies between human leg bones and those of a monkey here.